Hello, Pisces. We are going to do a twin flame reading, okay? okay. Even if you don't resonate um, with twin flame, this is just whomever you're thinking of while you're wi watching this video, okay? Sun, moon, rising, and Venus. If you would like to uh, be eligible for a personal reading, you're going to want to like, share, subscribe, and comment. Hashtag twin flame, okay? Also, if you'd like to book a personal reading, all of that information is in the description box, all right? Let's see. General reading. Cannot and will not resonate for everybody. So take what resonates for you, leave the rest. Okay, check those other placements, especially the Venus placement. Okay, because that's how we present or behave in relationships. If you do not know your placements, there is a link in the description box to Cafe Astrology. You plug in your birth information and it will tell you everything you need to know. Okay, all right. I'm going to put you on one side, your person on the other. Feel free to flip it around if you need to. Um, Cross watchers welcome roles can be reversed. There is no gender in tarot. And sometimes we're going to mix up both people's energies on both sides. We have the fool on the bottom of the deck. Somebody's cutting something loose. All right. We have the empress. Wow. And temperance. The ace of wands and the eight of swords. The three of swords and the justice card. The Four of Pentacles and the Seven of Wands. The Lovers and the Seven of Cups. And the Star and the Queen of Cups. Well, there you are, Pisces. All right. With that Fool energy on the bottom of the deck. So we've got Taurus, Libra. Sagittarius. Libra again. We've got Gemini. We've got Aquarius, we've got Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Okay, so this really looks like um, a person who has been resisting something, resisting going back to a person or resisting leaving a situation that they're in for whatever reason. It's going to be different for everybody. The problem is... It's not working. <laughs> it's not working. All right. So here we have this empress. This is the, you know, Pisces, this could be you. This could be your person. But Pisces, um, you know, there's somebody here that's the empress, right? Somebody, if you're not the person that wants to go back to somebody, then, then uh, you're going to know who you are in this equation. Okay. And I do think that there's more than one person involved, but we've not gotten there yet. So show me this Empress energy. What's going on with this Empress? Page of Swords. Pisces, are you watching somebody? Somebody watching you? Creeping, sneaking, social media, driving by, whatever. Yep. Moon, keeping that hidden. You're not telling anybody that you've got your eye on this person or, the, or you know, however. I'm going to read you as, as this side. The roles could be reversed, okay? But Pisces, it looks like there's an empress here that you have tried to get out of your mind, your thoughts, your brain, your heart, your soul. Not working, not working. Temperance, the card of reconciliation, right? The universe working in the background to bring the two of you together, tempering that energy. You've not gotten to the point where you've done anything foolish yet, but we're only one card in. Four of Cups. It's taking over your thoughts. Wanting to be with this person, Pisces, or vice versa, is taking over your thoughts. You have become bored, unhappy, unfulfilled. Wherever you're at, it's not cutting it anymore. You're probably not doing a very good job at hiding it, right? This Nine of Pentacles, that pre-Empress, this Empress is single right now. She, um, you know, she's living her life. There's a lot of passion for this person, this Ace of Wands. But this is also, you know, that staff of, of new opportunities, right? All of that growth is potential for expansion. It's also a lot of passion. 
the three of swords. So Pisces, you or your person is, you guys are heartbroken without each other. Or Pisces, you are, you're feeling it the most right now. Okay. If this is a twin flame connection, both people feel it. It's just that this empress, this pre-empress, this nine of pentacles person is, is finding a way to deal with it. And, and she's moving forward and focusing on herself, which is what she needs to be doing. Um, whoever has all this passion, they're in pain, their heart aches. I also just really think there's someone else involved or another situation involved here because I just do, you know, not able to go forward to this, this, this empress with this ace of wands because you're in a, in another situation, 10 of cups. You are heartbroken in a family situation, Pisces. You know, you've got a person who cares about you. You've got a good, good life and you don't care. You're not happy. You're carrying a torch for someone else. You feel stuck where you are. You feel like your hands are tied. It's like you don't want people to judge you for leaving this connection because there's no good reason to leave it. But the heart wants what the heart wants. That's just the way it is. Yeah, eight of swords, clarified by the eight of swords. You're miserable. Pisces, you're miserable. You're going to snap. It's just inevitable. It's inevitable strength could be dealing with a Leo don't have to be but um, you know you're pretty strong for being able to handle this thus far however it's not gonna it's not gonna work forever it's just not it's too powerful of a connection you know you can you can only hold a juicy t-bone steak away from a lion for so long before they snap all right, got this three of swords. The world, something is going to end. A cycle is coming to completion. And it's this cycle of being stuck and heartbroken, right? Successful completion of karmic cycle. Whatever, whatever uh, family situation you're in with another person, that energy has been expended. It's run its course. You've learned what you need to learn and it's time to move on. It's time for you to go towards happiness. The sun certainly could be a Leo, but it doesn't have to be. I, I get this a lot. I get this Pisces Leo energy a lot. And it almost always comes with a side of justice. So here we have justice. And I do feel like this is you um, ending this committed relationship, dissolving contracts or obligations, negotiating five of wands, battling it out. This, this probably is going to come to us as to us as a surprise to the person that you're involved with. Phoebe, what are you doing up there? Yeah, challenges, obstacles, drama, resistance. Queen of Cups, there you are, though. Um, you're not leaving this person, you know, because you don't like them or they did something bad. It's like, you still care about them. It's just not where your heart is, right? And you felt this way for a long time and sat on it. It didn't do anything, right? You just didn't do anything. This four pentacles energy, you stayed too long in this connection, right? But you thought you were doing the right thing. You, you were doing it for the right reasons, right? Two of pentacles. Had to make a decision though, right? And the decision was to get out of it, was to, was to move forward. Six of Wands, going off on your own and having victory, right? Um, you really had to stand your ground because this wasn't something that was easy for you to do, Pisces. And if this isn't your energy, Pisces, the person that is in this energy is not a person who wants to hurt the person that they're with, okay? Three people, decide which one you're, you are in this. You really did have to stand your ground, Seven of Pentacles. And prepare, right? It's like these seeds that were planted in the past with this connection um, are coming to fruition. There's no denying it anymore, right? And you want to invest in this. You want this opportunity to work. Six of Pentacles, right? 
ready for equal give and take. Sometimes, you know, when paired with the correct cards, that's my marriage card, right? For better, for worse, in sickness and in health, right? But making a choice, right? The lovers is about a choice. And the seven of cups is about um, what to choose, right? So the lovers here, card of Gemini. Two of Swords. Yeah, you got to make a choice. Nine of Cups. Wanting that wish. Wanting to be with your Empress, right? Seven of Cups. Feeling so confused about how to go forward. Feeling so confused about what to do. Not wanting to hurt anybody. The Knight of Cups. But knowing that you're on your way out of this, of this relationship. To go towards that Empress. Trying to do so as carefully as possible, being as fragile as, you know, I mean, it's just a fragile situation, page of wands, but you know, you're, you're already, you're already on your way out. The star card of Aquarius, this is getting your wish and you're right next to it with this queen of cups energy, male, female, doesn't matter. But the star, this is a, a hope, a wish, destiny, a dream, a dream come true, like a, a when you wish upon a star, right? Wow. The star card clarified by the star card. If this is not kismet, I do not know what is. Wow. Wishes, hope, inspiration, destiny. The stars aligning, king of pentacles. Coming in, being very stable, being very grounded. You know, this is somebody who is successful. A little stubborn, but is a great provider. Successful in business, powerful in business. A str just a strong-minded individual. Certainly could be you, Pisces. Could be your person. Just whoever you are in this, in this story. And here we have this Queen of Cups. What's going on here? What do we got? Let's see. The Three of Pentacles, wanting to rebuild a connection, wanting to reconcile, wanting to come back into union, wanting to collaborate, wanting to, you know, work together to build a team, being determined to succeed. Four of Wands, you can't make it up. These are two people that have been separated for a while. One of you has been in another relationship for a while. But you're ready to make a clean break, right? Because you miss your person. Pisces. Yeah. You're seeing things from a new perspective, Pisces. That's your energy, the hanged man. And you want to, you know, you have thought about it and molded over and, and, you know, it's been, it's been this internal struggle, but you're ready to, you know, just pack it up and move on. Right. What do you want to move on to reconciling with your person? Yeah. You're on the way out, Pisces. It is going to cause a tower moment, but you are going towards the person that you want to go towards. Who is that? It's your two of cups. You can't make it up. All right, Pisces, that's all I got for you. Um, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and comment. Hashtag Twin Flame. If you'd like to book a personal reading, everything you need to know is in the description box below, and I'm sending you tons of love and light.